What up? Preview season is upon us, chat. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, the first two full kits of characters that have been previewed for the universe's Yu Yu Hakusho set. Before we get started, for all of my people over on uh, Twitch, in the pinned comment, there are two YouTube videos that I demand that you open up right now, put on mute, and continue to watch the stream. For my YouTubers, in the description down below, there are two YouTube videos that I wish you to do the same thing with. My goal here is I want the OG people, um, uh, Universes Academy and UK Versus, in order to, uh, to, I want them to get their clicks, to get their views, but we're going to just look at the cards and we're going to see what's up so big shout outs to the to the two channels that uh that have previewed this um but let's get rocking easy busy all right so i'm not gonna watch the full video obviously um i'm just going to be moving on to the cards right that's that's my plan that's my goal here today and so let's uh let's look at all right uh he's i've been told his name is we <laughs> Uh, 6'6", six, six, 36, so 5 hand size, 36 health, big beefy boy, big beefy boy, from Team Tagoro, uh, full disclosure, I haven't seen the anime for this one, um, it's a show that I probably should watch, um, uh, but there it is, um, has death, earth, and water, enhance once per turn, your turn, destroy one, uh, ready, face up foundation, colon, build the top two cards of your deck face down, and then, oh, I'll make this a little smaller for us. And then, uh, form commit your next attack this turn gets plus X speed and X damage. X equals the number of your face down foundations. Um, and then chat. Uh, if you're live over here on on uh, Twitch, you can vote. Um, your thoughts on the card. One for two. Uh, one for good. Two for bad. Three for mad. So I think this guy is cool. I think the destroy one ready face of foundation, build the top two cards of your deck face down is interesting as long as um, you're down to lose that foundation, right? It, this that the, the enhance once per turn your turn reminds me a lot of um, re reminds me a lot of um, uh, the always cool card right add this foundation up into your card pool build the top two from your deck um, but this guy gets away with doing that same idea but he doesn't stuff it into his card pool um he also shares the death symbol right so i think that's neat and then just like enhance commit this move massive <laughs> this move very big very fast hits very hard i think this guy's neat i think the only thing this guy's gonna suffer from is just five hand size problems for offense and defense strictly from hand because i don't think building is going to be necessarily an issue as long as you're down to have a bunch of face down foundations which he is which he is um uh, but we'll move on let's see what our next card is it is air uh, arena stone toss four three one mid block three mid for five has ex3 ranged and weapon and that's it that's all this card does this card this card's Blank does not have abilities, except for EX3, which is fine, which is fine. I mean, that's a fine ability to have, right? Um, four diff, three mid for five is chill. Discard one momentum, it's a four diff, six for five. Not a bad rate. It's got a one mid block. It's got relevant keywords. Um, the most important thing about, uh, the, 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 the most striking thing about this card is it's just boring, right? This card just, like, doesn't, like, like, do anything. This could this card could be on anybody's kit in the entire game. It's just boring. Um, just a value for diff, right? I'm supposed to have better stats than normal. Um, yeah, I, I think I think this card is is fine. It's a one mid block. Um, I think Satona says it right. Time to start rating comments based on draft. That's what this is, right? I, I think that like even in your constructed decks, you could play this at like a one of with a straight face if you don't really have a momentum out, right? It's a five damage move. If you can find any amount of damage pump onto it, it it um, answers its own speed problem with the EX3. So like, it's fine. If you're missing four diff slot, four diff, four diff mid blocks, this card's fine. It's just boring. And that's okay. Those, you're allowed to have boring cards. Up next, we have Aura Slam. 
Uh, five, three, three low block, three mid for five has slam and throw. So the throw keyword's very cool with the character because the character just gives plus X plus X and does not care about the throw keyword. If I just build up six foundations, I form with my character, I play this as my first move. This is just a nine for 11, right? And then if it's blocked, if my 9 for 11 is blocked, build the top card of my uh, deck face down committed. Um, I think this card sees play in, frankly, a lot of decks. I think that this card being a 5 damage throw that builds one, especially with um, with set 1 rotating, I think this is just like a premium 5 diff throw. Like, it has a good enough ability. I'm down to just like slam 5 damage in your face. And if you happen to block, so you take three damage, I get a bonus off of it, which is I get to build a free foundation. I think it's neat. Too expensive for its effects. I think this card is fine if, you're, if your deck, like, is down to play throws. I think this effect is fine, right? Um, if you're down to play throws, like, like a Mineta playing this would not be that big of a deal, right? Especially because, like, you're losing, you're losing things like Grasping Tape Toss, right? Which obviously is, like, a better card, right? Grasping Tape Toss has a deadlock ability, has a, has a, if it's not blocked ability, same with, same with this one, right? This one is, is if, if it is blocked, the other one says if it's not blocked, so it's, like, asking you to block. Um, yeah, I, I think this card is neat. I think this card is, I think this card is totally, totally fun. Um, and the fact that, like, he has a throw inside of his kit, and he just gives um, big stats, I think that makes sense. Makes sense to me. Up next, we have Battle Aura Release. 4-3, 2 mid block, 4 high for 4. It's a charge ranged. Enhance, flip 1 foundation, colon, draw 1 card. That's a good ability. <laughs> hey, turn anything into a uh, flip calling for backup. That's great. Enhance if this deck gets, uh, this deck gets plus four damage. Or sorry, this deck gets, <laughs> sorry, I'll say it correctly. This deck gets four damage um, uh, because you have four fa uh, face down foundations. X damage, X equals the number of face downs in, in your thing. The big thing that I see with this card is this is another high attack for Ochako 4, right? I think Ochako 4 has gotten a lot, a lot of stuff from the from the Cabo Bebop set, not uh, as well as this. This card is this card is great for Ochako Four. Ochako can give it speed or damage if needed. It is a high. It is a charge. It is it's very good. Falling skies, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this is a four diff, two mid block that flows to just draw cards and then just slam a bunch of slam a bunch of stats on it. Um, again, not a very exciting card, but this card certainly does get the job done. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 easy enough. Easy enough. Yeah, if you can put any amount of speed on this guy, which like the main character can, right? Um, if it's like if I have four face downs, this is an eight high for twelve on a four diff. That also drew me an extra card. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. We'll move on. Uh, our last attack that we have is devastating swing. Um, this is an interesting. I think this is one of the first pieces of art that I'm I'm not a huge fan of. It's just his hand, right? Like obviously we've got the axe here. But I think this is like the first time that I'm I'm just like not in on the art, right? Before we look at anything else. Yeah, I'm just not in on the art. Uh five, three, two high block, three mid for seven has powerful three. Another good momentum out, and then weapon. Enhance. If you have more face down foundations than your rival, this attack gains stun two. Um because we are looking at um because we are looking at the kit this card inside of his own kit um i think this card is very chill i think a five diff stun two card with the wearing the stats that it wears is pretty good um i think i think that it is i think that it is is pretty okay um why is this a rare it is powerful three I don't know. I think it's fine. I think this, I mean, this is a five diff three mid for seven that they, like, they just have to respect this card. Sometimes it gains stun too. I don't hate it. I think this card is fun, truthfully. Um, I think the, I think it probably could have had, like, it could have had stun one, and then if you have more face downs, it, it gets an extra stun. Um, but yeah, I think that, I think that this card is fun. This is, a, this is a big dunk, especially if you can, like, throw any amount of speed on it. Which, again, our character does, right? Um, my good buddy Andrew is in the 
uh, is in the chat. And this guy has has some pretty big, um, pretty big Todoroki 2 syndrome, where like when you take and you look at all of his cards next to like using his form and you have any amount of like stats on the uh, face downs on the board, these moves are scary, right? This move with four face downs is a seven for 11 that has stun two and powerful three. I'll just play it as my first move. Hey, here's a seven for 11 you have to deal with. I have more face downs than you because that's how my character works. Stun two, seven for 11, catch. Okay, I'll play two foundations and pass. Okay, you, you couldn't deal with the first devastating swing. I've built more face downs. I flipped some more stuff. I will devastating swing you again and and swing. Like, like if this guy builds up his face downs, then you didn't want this card to have more stats. You didn't want this card to do more things. Because this guy just puts unbelievable stats on stuff. It's so easy on turn two to have six face downs. And so just like a move, this move just getting six six kills a seven hander. It just does. But we'll move on. To his foundations, we have Battle Aura. This guy? This guy's got some white-ass teeth. <laughs> uh, one, five, three mid block. Tenacious, so playable while committed. Flip, colon, after this card is committed due to your office effect, this deck gets minus two damage. Um, Pretty quality ability on a one, five, three mid block with a character that has 36 health, right? I get, uh, I get stunned. I say this attack does not do very much. This card, um, this card is interesting. It really depends on like, like what the rest of your one diff foundation base looks like to play this card, right? Um, I think this card's fine. I think it's fine. I think it's nothing to write home about. Um, it also depends on like how much um, stun hate exists inside of these three symbols, right? I think that's important. Is to look at as well we'll move on we have beneath the armor uh two five three low block enhance once per turn flip one foundation colon this attack gets plus two or minus two damage so any throws that we have we make them big i mean we just splice fey on onto a bunch of foundations right um we have um what is a symbol but instead of remove two resources from my discard pile, um, this is uh, um, this is flip one of my foundations in order to make my uh, my form better and to stretch out my thirty six health. Yeah, this I think this card is good. The question is, is is it worth a two five three low block slot? That's the real question. Um, I think if this guy like just like wants to slam a bunch of throws, right? If we've got good throws on death, uh, earth, water. The throw idea works. I feel the throw idea works best whenever you've got like an abundance of damage reduction, and you have the the health total to, um, uh, uh, and you get the health total to like like defend yourself. This card's fine. Again, maybe maybe they had like a maybe they had like a uh, like a um, team Togoro Breaker one or like a team Togoro desperation one or something like that. Just like make it like, like this much more exciting. I think I'd be there. Um, but yeah, there it is. Up next, we have enormous axe, uh, three, five, one mid block after this foundation is destroyed, build the top card of your deck face down. Tactically works with the character exceptionally well. I have this thing ready. I destroy it. I build one from Enormous Axe. I resolve my ability. I build two more. Form my character. My next move gets 3-3. Three, three. Makes sense to me. And then enhance commit. This deck gets a plus X damage. X equals the number of your face downs. Max 4. Again, it's just like it's like a foundation version of... Um, it's like a foundation version of what the uh, Ultra Rare does, right? Of just like I accidentally find um, 4 bonus damage somewhere. Again... All of this idea of, like, I'm going to stack on free damage, I'm going to stack on free damage, very good on throws, very bad on this move's going to get blocked. But if I have a bunch of face downs, right, if I've got my four face downs and my character is going to give plus four, plus four to a thing, then, like, slamming on plus four damage to the one move I'm planning on playing this turn does not feel that bad, right? There's going to be some turns where where this guy, like, slings a, a plus four, plus twelve damage move at you if I have four face downs based with, with my... Uh, battle or release as well as uh as well as enormous x like th this guy 
the the thing about this guy is like every single card that we've seen so far has just been stats on stats on stats uh foundation wise like every sing every single one of these foundations has been like how do i affect the damage stat um which can be scary if uh if if built correctly and then our last card in the kit we have Weapon Clash, 253 High Block, Enhance, Destroy 1, Face Down Foundation, colon. This deck gets minus 2 damage, minimum 1, Enhance, Flip, Build the top card of your deck, Face Down, Committed. This card is very good. This card's very, very good. A not playable once per turn, Destroy a Face Down, this gets minus 2 damage. I'll destroy my Committed Face Down Foundation for minus 2 damage, and on the turn that I want to kill you, I will flip and just start build, uh, uh sorry, uh, the turn that I want to, to use my form, because he does not care about readied face downs, he just cares about face downs, I'll play an attack, flip every copy of Weapon Clash, and then just slam this one, it gets plus 8, plus 8. Um, this guy, this, this card is very strong. Um, yeah, seeing a couple Weapon Clashes on turn, um, Seeing Weapon Clash on turn uh, turn two, like three of these on turn two would be very good, right? Uh, because this thing flips, and then I build a bonus one. I'll commit my next thing gets plus six, plus six. I'll slam it. Um, yeah, this guy this guy plays one very big attack every turn. Uh, and has the foundations, all those foundations um, say minus, minus stats, right? The only one that says plus stats is this one, and it's a big, big, big plus stat. But this is minus damage. This is minus damage. This is minus damage. And we have 36 health. So the idea of like I'm going to survive in order to uh, in order to get to my turn so I can plus X plus X my thing is is pretty powerful. Pretty good. So my question, you guys, are thoughts on the kit. Do you like what Bowie is doing? Um they didn't let him share with Queen Beam Coward. Uh, I think this guy is interesting. I like the idea of the form. My next one is fucking massive. I'll play one move that you can't really interact with um, and and do it. I have died plenty of times to Toga 3 doing this exact same game plan. I play a move. It uh, She commits one big thing. Um, and... Uh, the first move is so fast and big that like I'll take a third of my health. I think Bowie, if he's if he's built correctly and sees the good ones, he will he will only have to play two attacks in the game and kill some even truly six handers. Um, truly, he could play two attacks and kill six hand six handers. Um, uh, but yeah, that's that's all of the uh, that's all of Bowie's cards. The first member of Team Tagoro. We will. Move on.